Hi, and welcome to Project Zoboid uh, 7 Day Quick Start Guide, Day 5. So, the first day we did our farming book, the uh, second day we d we didn't find the fishing level book, fishing skill book, but we uh, did get like uh, one and a half levels. So, even if you uh, don't find the fishing level one skill book, you do still get a decent amount of experience, you do still get like one and a half. But uh, if we would have found that, we would have been up to level 2 fishing. And we got level 2 farming, and day 4, we had the uh, cooking level 2 skill book and the carpentry level 2 skill book. So we read both of those, which gave us uh, level 3 cooking and level 3 carpentry. And today on day 5, we just need to make sure that we read the foraging book, and then tomorrow we just need to read the trapping book. So we already uh, read the trapping book, so we found it earlier, and we already read that one. So we just need to read the foraging book by 18 o'clock today. And I think we're searching for the carpentry 3 book. Yeah, we just need to find the uh, carpentry 3 book, and then we would have uh, found all of them. So, during our first days, if we could uh, manage to find these 8 skill books and actually uh, read them and watch the life and living and everything... And even while we're doing this, we're uh, exploring the map, right? So that's like the huge thing. It's like, uh, while you're watching Life and Living, just uh, stay in this area. There's lots of TVs everywhere. You should be able to find a place with a TV to watch Life and Living at every six hours. And you're searching for your crowbars, duffel bags, hammers, all that, the generators. We're going to need to start finding a vehicle pretty soon. So I think we got some empty gas cans. So we're up here, we're going to clear these houses, and then maybe get the food from them and bring them down here. And, uh, over here, an alarm system happened yesterday, so we had to uh, leave that area for a bit. <laughs> so we have to go back there and search those places to see if we can find the uh, Carpentry 3 skill book. So right now, we're going to go to sleep here pretty soon. We're going to set the alarm. We're drowsy. Put all of our food in the fridge. Yeah, we got two empty gas cans here. We really just need uh, one empty gas can. I might get rid of this uh, club hammer because we have four hammers at the moment. We don't need that many hammers. So you do need to figure about your uh, inventory space. You do have to take that into account. Uh, so we're just going to read the foraging book a little bit. Oh, it's like uh, 23 o'clock, so our character doesn't wake up too early. And there we go. Sir is going to sleep here tonight. Alright, then we see the final place of the TV by that. So I'm not 100% sure if this place has a TV. But uh, we just need to read the uh, foraging book by 18 o'clock, so we got lots of time to actually read that there. Uh, so we're going to go here. I think we're just going to go kill... Oh, no, we need to watch the uh, 6 o'clock show, don't we? Is there a TV here? There is a TV here, but all the windows are broken and everything. So we're going to do is just uh, take this food. Then just put out the uh, M on the map. We're going to search this place here. And uh, we put these things, this back up. Let's just put another X here. We researched this place for food and we took the food out. And we have to find a place to watch uh, TV for 6 in the morning. <clears throat> oh, but there's this truck here they want to check too. So we're not going to be able to check the uh, truck here at the moment. We need to get through the TV. I think we're just going to run down here. We're going to see if there's no zombies across the fence. Don't we hear anything. We're gonna try running down here. Put the zombies over there. So I want them to follow us. I guess we're just gonna go to the uh, medical center over here to that. There's the grocery store. Here's the medical center. Do we hear any zombies? I don't think so. I need to eat some ice cream. So we're just gonna eat the ice cream here quick. Right? 
Uh, hope it does not be at the top of the stairs. Nope. Let me turn in. Turn on TV. Life of Living. And then we're just gonna read this uh, foraging book here. Oh, I guess we should throw our food in here. So you have the freezer. We're going to throw everything in the freezer that we just got. Uh, it's just all food in there. Yep. Uh, do we have ice cream? No, we don't. So here we go. Now we can sit here and read our uh, foraging one skill book. Oh, here's the cook show. We should get a, a full cooking level here if you read the uh, cook level two skill book. Or if we don't, maybe we'll get uh, almost to a full level. So we'll just check here. Yeah, I guess we get the uh, level tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, so that's it. <laughs> See, at this foraging book, we're going to continue reading it. Uh, so what do we do? We just have to finish reading that book before that. But we do want to find the carpentry skill book. So if you go here, did we uh, check these two houses up here? No, we didn't. This is why we marked the X's on the map, so we come back and check. Because uh, if we didn't mark the X's, we would have uh, thought that we already checked these houses here. Well, maybe we did already check them. Maybe we just didn't loot the uh, food from them. Uh, so we're just going to go here. And if those houses are safe, we're just going to go loot the uh, food from them. Maybe I'll check the places up here. And then uh, maybe we'll just do a uh, food run here. So I think there was an herb system at that one place. That's why we didn't go there. Two zombies here. So we're going to start trying to clear out this area a bit. So not those two. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them up there. So we're going on a food run, and then we're leveling up our weapon skills. Our short bloods, almost uh, level 2. Which means that we're going to get an extra 6% attack speed, 6% crit damage, 6% block chats, and they, uh... <coughs> I think that's it. 6% attack speed, 6% crit, 6% block, 20% damage. I think uh, every single level gives you a 3%. 3% crit, 3% attack speed, 3% block chats, plus 10% uh, damage. So if we get to level 3, then there'll be a 9%. So we're just going to take out these 3 zombies here, if there's just 3 of them. Maybe we can even take them with the fence. Maybe that would make sense. There's just 3 of them, it should be too difficult to take them with the fence. They're going to go try and clear it this area. See if we can find the uh, Carpentry 3 skill book up here. Uh, so we're not going to search for food anything yet. There's a big group of zombies over there. A big group of zombies up over there. So this guy's following us. We're going to have to take him out. Oh, there's zombies in that house there. And they're going to break the window. Uh, we're going to sit here and level our uh, sharp blood skill a bit. Try to get to level 2. So we have hot us. That's just these two. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. They heard them break the window. Oh, there's a guy with a gun on his back. Uh, so I think we're just gonna take them here to this. There's a lot of zombies out there. Alright. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it with the fence. We're gonna have to come back for that gun. Oh, or we can get the gun now. So we successfully did that. We're searching for the uh, gun at the moment. There we go. Shotgun, pistol, holster, police outfit. And we'll take the digital watches too. We're gonna need them later. Maybe the uh, leather jacket. So let's start taking like the digital watches and everything. 
vintage watches, like uh, leather clothing. I guess we can rip the leather clothing. Find a leather jacket. We could rip it. Leather jacket. Right click and then uh, rip clothing if you have the scissors. So you're going to be doing this when you're leveling your uh, tailoring later. Plus it saves inventory space. It's a lot lighter to carry those things. We might get leather strips so we need to throw in our backpack here. 14? We're carrying 14? Oh, we're carrying so much. 20.3. We're going to have to leave because we got all those things. Oh, we can't even get in. Can't even get in the back. There's a zombie coming from the uh, left there. No car key. So we're gonna throw and stuff this out of house. Oh, maybe we'll just take the military boots for some reason. The high visibility jet. Yes. Uh, so we're just gonna run here and just uh, throw everything in here for now. We'll go here, transfer everything. Transfer those guns and everything we got. The uh, police outfits. Yeah, that should be good to go. Uh, yeah, that's everything. Oh, the empty bottle. Or water bottle's empty. So we're going to fill the empty bottle. Yeah, the uh, water still on, so we're going to drink. Uh, then we just have to make the 12 o'clock show. Then we need to find the uh, carpentry skill book still. So we're just going to be here clearing out this area a bit. The search of the houses, if we can make them to the houses to search. Another zombie coming here. So we did search this one already. We can tell because the door is open. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, there's more than I thought there was going to be. You get him. Maybe this guy. And then those ones, I don't know about them. Oh, that was a close one. That was bad. So let's walk around the house. Walk around the house here, split them up. Oh, they will run. They will run again quick. I guess we don't even need to fight them. We probably should go fight them. It looks like we already came to this house here. We just didn't make it up here. We should have gone back and taken them out and fought them. Oh, there's somebody following us. We didn't even hear a combat us. So we're just gonna go here, maybe check the houses to the north. There's TVs out there, so there's a big group over there because the alarm system just happened last night. Uh, there's a few zombies up there. We're gonna go here. And we're overheated, so we're gonna have to take some things off. We don't need the uh, police trooper t shirt, we don't need all these clothes on. So there's nobody here. We're gonna check out this place. See if there's no alarm system. We're gonna close the window. So there is a TV here if you need to watch it. We're gonna turn off the TV. And I'll check in here. Nobody here. Uh, closed curtain. Go we'll check here, you can find your bag. Bags are there, or crowbars. I'll just go in here, throw things in the freezer. I'll we'll just check the bookcase here. No carpentry level three. Oh, we're just gonna leave. Oh, I guess we can open the back door. Open the back door. We'll go check this shelf here quick. It's always locked. Only one time has it not been locked. So we're going to keep going north. There's going to be two zombies to fight. Oh, so we're going to have to fight these two zombies up here. Oh, he has a hat axe. We're going to take the hat axe and the watch. 
if they have them. So you gotta add that. See them, see them carry it at. Because I think there's a big group of zombies over here, wasn't there? Let's go check this house then. There's something right there. Let's throw things in the back of the vehicle right here. Guess that was it. Uh, go check the uh, carpentry three. No carpentry three. Check this place. No bags. <sighs> Search for like hiking bag. Oh my god, there's obby. Oh my god, there's obby. Scared us. Good thing we were uh, walking away. Is it going here? Fridge freezer? Fridge freezer. I mean, wonder if we can make it to the uh, other place up there before the uh, before time comes up. Let's check this place. Lock. There's a big group down there. That's where they were. Let's turn off the TV. We don't want them to destroy the place. Maybe we can siphon gas from this vehicle. Nope. So you can right click and then see if you can uh, siphon gas. Then you get gasoline for a vehicle that you're looking for. So there's also a house up here. There's no TV. We're going to have to go to the house uh, past this one. So I think we'll do that. We won't spend too much time here. We're gonna have to come back. Check for alarm system. There's no alarm system. Fridge, freezer. Uh, books, carpentry three. I believe. Go north. Check the e food store. We're not gonna go straight to the food store. We wanna go to this place and clear this place out first. Go over here, clear this place. See if there's no zombies back here. Maybe we could just lure them to the fence. Maybe we'll take the uh, cigarettes. We don't need them, we're not a smoker. Oh, they broke the window to the place? Oh my god, why'd you break the window to the place? Are you coming through? The window's already broken. Why is it not coming through? It's barricaded. Oh, there's a barricade on this place. This is where we're gonna watch TV. We can't watch TV here? Oh no, we gotta go to a place with a TV then for the 12 o'clock TV show. So we're gonna have to run down here and then make it to this place. We know it's safe. There's no TV in this house. I was hoping to go watch TV, but it's barricaded over there. So now we gotta run back here and hope that we can make the uh, 12 o'clock TV show to get our carpentry level. Oh, so you know this place is safe? So let's go to the front door here. And here's the TV. Turn on. The volume down. Life and living. Close that, baby. And we'll actually read this uh, foraging book. You have to read this foraging book by 18 o'clock. So watch uh, carpentry at 12. Get our carpentry experience. Maybe get a carpentry level. And then uh, foraging is going to be at 18 o'clock. So we have to uh, read this uh, foraging book by 18 o'clock today. And then tomorrow it's trapping. We already read the trapping book. 
So we already have that at a, at a tab. Yep, life and living, so we'll maybe speed up time a bit. Yeah, so we just about got a level. So I guess we get a level uh, tomorrow then. So what we're going to do is we need some food. Yeah, we don't have any food. We don't have any food. Why is that? We never brought food with us before we left. So we got a pizza in the fridge. So what we're going to do is just uh, read this Foraging One book. Read. And then just read all of it. Oh no, we should turn the TV off. Turn off the TV so the zombies don't come here. And then read the Foraging One book. Speed up time. There's going to be read the Foraging One book. So that sucks that that uh, cabin was uh, destroyed while well, it's barricaded in. It's barricaded in, so we could go watch TV. We usually go there to watch TV. I just have to make sure we don't miss the 18 o'clock show. Oh, we're hungry. So we're gonna have to eat that uh, peach that we got. And then we'll read the foraging book. I'd favorite it. And then we got the foraging book out of the way. So all we do is just put this here. Foraging volume one. First aid foraging mechanics. Uh, so we that we just have to watch the 18 o'clock TV show. So let's go over here. Oh, there's a big huge group of zombies down there. Oh no, we're getting carpentry level three then. Oh, we're level, brother, level up, sharp, let's go. That's uh, so actually a three percent attack speed, ten percent damage, three percent crit, three percent or three percent uh, block chance. So we'll check the uh, back here. Check this box. Then we'll go in here and search this place a bit more. We didn't search it the first time we came here. There's no zombies in here, so you search here, bookshelf. Uh, bathroom, nothing in the bathroom. Crowbar, crowbar and duffel bag. You can find fatty packs in there. Ah, oh, nothing of that one. <laughs> so we're overheating. I think it's this uh, gas mask that we're wearing, baby. Let me take off the gas mask for now. Because I think that's what's overheating us. Take that off, and then we should be a lot better, baby. Be unpleasantly hot. We gotta fix that. Log sleeve t shirt. We don't need a log sleeve t shirt. Uh, honestly, I think that's good. So we checked everything. We'll just check these quick. There's no ice cream or anything. Maybe we'll just take uh, lettuce, packaged corn, take some type of food. Ah, oh, then maybe we'll see if we can get that uh, room up there, that house up here, out of the food store. So it's 18 o'clock. There's zombies over there to the west. I'll see if we can take this zombie out here quick. That's this one coming here. Oh, there's like four of them.
So we got them. So let's go check this place. The door is open. Are these zombies? Just over here, it looks like. What? So if there's a door here, I'd say we watch the uh, TV at the 18 o'clock show. Oh, check this here. Leather gloves, ear protection, safety goggles. Bathroom. What was that? Oh. See, if I try to watch the TV show here, we'll check here. There could be skill books. Sometimes these boxes we found like just like millions of skill books. Should throw these in the freezer. Uh, the TV show. Oh, there's weapons here because it's a uh, weapon cache. So let's go to the TV. Uh, turn on. Life for Living tuned in. Close the curtains. We could remove the broken glass. Just so we don't accidentally climb through it. We check the uh, bookshelf here. There's no carpentry three. So we'll try to read a book while we're waiting. I think uh, Tailoring One. So we read uh, Trapping, we read Foraging, Carpentry, Cooking, that's it. We're gonna be foraging today. It's how we could literally just like jump through the window and get us. We do you need to go to sleep here soon. Oh, we got our uh, foraging level, right? Oh, so I think that's it. Oh, so turn off the TV. We didn't find the uh, carpentry book. I think that we searched everything. We searched those drawers, everything, maybe. Searched the uh, fridge. Uh, so let's go see if we can get the food store before the day's up. So it's right over here. Yeah, let's go check this too. Oh, there's a generator in here. We heard a zombie. Two of them over here. Another one coming. Oh, here comes another one. Actually, you see if we get the food market. I don't think we did it in this uh, series, did we? Go here, check the map. We're over here. No, I don't think we did. I think what we did last time is we uh, got the food park and uh, we capped it at place and then we went to the uh, trailer park and then we died at the trailer park. Oh my god, there's a zombie inside there. The alarm system. Oh my god. So those zombies, we're gonna go in here. Uh, for this place, we have to pick up this chair. And then we have to place down the chair in the corner here. This gives us access to these shelves over here. Let's get access here. We get the sacks of carrots fresh. So there should be uh, sacks of uh, fruits and vegetables in here. Depending how uh, how lucky you are, you might get uh, nothing or you might get a whole bunch of things in here. I guess the cabbage has gone bad already. Oh, loot this, loot the pears. Oh, we don't even have room to uh, pick up because we took the rotten cabbages. 
Maybe we'll leave the rotten food here for now. We'll just take the stuff that's uh, fresh and stale because we don't have enough inventory space to pick that stuff up. Let's go through and get whatever food's still good here. Maybe check this. There could be car keys. If there's a car nearby, it would be inside there. Let's see if we take these. Oh, we can't even loot it. I guess we just loot things in our inventory then. And if you want, you can throw them in the fridge here. Some uh, water bottles if you need them. But I think we're just going to uh, take them to the place up here. So what we're going to do is just uh, walk all the stuff up here. Because I think we're carrying way too much. Like 17.55. Hope he doesn't see us. Oh, the back door is barricaded. Do you like to use this place to store food and watch TV and everything? Oh, he seen us. Oh, we're gonna have to go here to the uh, fridge. I'll go to the freezer and then throw everything in here. And then he's coming, so we're ready to run. Here he is. Strength to fight him. And then we finish throwing stuff in the freezer here. And there we go. So we have uh, successfully made it. So it's just all food in here. We still have uh, food here. Oh, we need to eat some food, and we don't have any ice cream. I guess we take the banana, the apple. So we'll eat the apple then. So we don't really have too much food, and then we didn't bring any ice cream with us or anything. Oh, so that fix that. I guess we'll just throw these in the freezer for now. I guess we'll just take the uh, cigarettes out. So what we're going to do is throw those in here. And I think we're almost good to go. So everything here, we got all the uh, food in the container. We didn't get the uh, Carpentry 3 book yet. Uh, what we're going to do is mark on the map. So let's turn off. We're going to go here. Should maybe fill the water bottle. The water's still on, so we're going to fill the water bottle. And then we're just going to sleep here tonight. Oh, so we did find Carpentry 3. We did find Cooking 3. So I guess we can uh, read a skill book until 20 o'clock. So we'll just read the tailoring skill book. Uh, we'll just fast forward time until about 23 o'clock. Then go to sleep. Well, I guess we're already uh, tired. So we might actually do it till like 22 o'clock. So it's 22 o'clock. Is it going to be 22 o'clock anytime soon? There we go. All right. And then we'll uh, set our alarm clock for like 540 in the morning, whatever it is. Uh, 540 in the morning. Yep. Yeah. We got a TV here. So you just go to sleep. And then in the morning at 6 o'clock, we just uh, wake up, watch Life and Living. And there's going to be like uh, cooking, carpentry, and then the trapping. So you want to read the uh, trapping book by today. 